Hello everyone, I'm Zishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive YouTube channel, your own training institute. So we will move to a different topic now here in our next lesson and here we are going to do the exposing. So we have fixed the lock in the last lesson. Now before applying dust or before rendering, we'll do some exposing here. Now as you know what is exposing, exposing is a feature that allows you to create presets that you can change in any software like suppose if you export your substance designer material to maya or to 3d studio max or blender or unreal engine maybe the person who is using your spsr file he might not like this yellow color maybe he might prefer blue color or green color or pink color or whatever color you or like he wants so you give him an option to change that and that option here is known as exposition exposing so you expose uh some features and uh, and some options and when those options or features are exposed they become a, like a preset in external applications and their person can change in substance designer or uh, sorry in the substance painter or maya or 3d studio max they can change to whatever one i want in the last chapter we studied about the switch so we can create this like sort of a switch and we can switch between these two colors okay so if you have uh if you don't know about how we we uh we changed this one or we created this you can go to the last chapter the chapter number four and you can see that how you can change it okay but for our next part like for exposing something new out of it we are not going to use the same switch uh motif here so what i will be doing here is changing it up, giving it something else so instead of switch i will remove this gradient map from here and remove the switch from here and add another uh no or oh, like node here which is hsl okay so i'll keep hss as it is for now okay just to show you around we have here hue saturation and light so if i will increase the hue you can see that the color is changing okay so basically this is what we are looking for Plus there is lightness and there is saturation so i don't want to play with the saturation or lightness even though uh, like uh, maybe you want in future so you can you can change it but for this tutorial i'm not going to use saturation and lightness I, I i don't want to expose these i only want to expose the hue so what i'm going to do is that i will go to this option here next to the hue which is the manage the function so i will click on it and expose as new graph input okay and when i will click on this it will give me this option now identify uh, identifier or label here i will change this and i will rename it to something more specific okay color changing slider okay something like this i will use this and i will use this in the label also and here i can write my own the description okay so i can write here this and tags b this tag b is like an html tag which uh should, like you start with this uh, b so it will make whatever is in between these tag will be bold okay so the color changing slider will allow you to change the primary color of your locker or of the locker not your locker maybe off the off the lock okay now here i want it to be slider minimum value i don't want it to be zero or you can keep it zero by default i will keep it 0 
0.5 maybe minimum you can keep 0 0.5 or you can keep it zero now how do you want to change it okay these are steps so if i will increase this or decrease this you can see that the it, it will go with the number of steps okay so if you see that it is adding 0 0.01 to it if you don't want that okay suppose you want it to be 0 0.5 and now if i will change it we'll change with that but uh like when i will press okay right now it will not change it so that's one thing you can do that maybe i'll keep it 0 0.5 so it will add 0 0.5 to the value instead of 0 0.1 so uh once i'm done i will keep this clamp uh, false i will press okay once i'm done if i double click it anywhere out here i will get this preset here you can see that i can go to the preview and i have the changing color slider now if i will uh, hover over it it will give me the description this color changing slider will allow you to change that primary color of the locker and if i will change it okay so you can see that it is adding 0 0.5 okay which i think is a lot so let's do go back here and do the parameters and instead of steps 0 0.5 so i will give 0 0.1 or like 0 0.01 or 0 0.1 now if i go back here and try to change it you can see that it is allowing allowing me to change the color here okay and if i go back here reset it will reset to default whatever it was now i can add a few more okay one thing i can do here is in the parameter i have a group and i will call this group uh this one i will call color group so whatever is related to color will go in the color okay so i can go here and maybe the lock here's the lock okay so maybe you can change this one as well if i want if anyone wants to it's anyone wants to change the color of this uh, lock so i can go add here hsl also and you i will change or uh, expose this and call it lock color change same i will use it here and i will write here this This lock color change slider will allow you to change the color of the lock. Okay. Now here everything I will keep it as it is. Okay. Uh, no changes. Only in the group i will see what groups we have we have the color group so i want this to be the part of color group so I, now if i will double click it here somewhere okay and if i will go to the preview you can see i have a color group here and inside the color group i have this now color changing slider let's change its name here instead of color changing slider i can change the label locker color I can 
use a locker coloring uh, change here and same thing i can use in the identifier so you don't need to because identifier is just just for the variable purposes okay so if i go to preview okay i can change the color of the locker i can change with the color of the lock so i can use any one of Now, what else we can do is that edgeware. No, uh, not edgeware. I think this the rust and the leaves. So here in the levels of the of the like leaks. Okay, I have to uh, one of them. Is, uh, is not using any position so there is no leak and one which is on the top is using the position here so there is a leak there this is without the leak so it's just like a normal rust I will take this one I will take the level of it okay and expose a new graph input here I will change the name to rust amount take this And name and uh, and make a new group here, and I will call this Rust. And here I write the Rust amount option will help you or will allow you increase the level of rust something like this everything as it is no changes okay now here i will go and I will go to the length here. Okay. So I can expose as a new graph. And I will call this uh, leak amount. okay so i'll write here the leak amount option will allow you to change uh, to increase the length of the uh increase the length of the leaks increase length of the leaks. I don't know if it is grammatically right or wrong, but just I wrote it here. Okay, so and group I'll use here Rust. Okay, now let's see. Double click it here. If I double click it here and uh, anywhere empty space, so I have two options now: Rust and Lock Lock color change. So if I go here, I can increase the amount of r Rust. Or decrease it okay as much as I want and I can also increase the leak so this is how you can create different sort of a uh, exposing uh, like here so uh i hope you have learned something 
out of this lesson and one thing is that i was looking here and i found a very nice color let's see what color was that yeah something like this yeah looks cool very flashy but this type okay. yeah this is this is much more better okay see how nicely you can change the color easily now you don't have any issue these uh like exposing will help you a lot especially especially when you take them in a external uh, application like a different application so now in the next lesson we will learn how we can put some uh, dust over here we already have the, the like uh, like the dust part in our chapter number four but here we will do in a little bit more detail so i hope you have learned something from this lesson and thanks a lot everyone for joining this lesson i'm really thankful to you all for supporting me and i hope to receive your support continuously i have noticed that many of you are watching my videos but have not subscribed to my channel yet so please so please subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon so you can receive all the notifications about the great new contents i will be uploading soon if you have liked my video so please hit the like button and if you have any queries or questions then leave them in the comment section below and i will answer them as soon as possible and one request i have and that is i have noticed that some of the viewers do not watch my videos online and instead they download them so please if anyone is doing that and you find someone doing this please stop them because this will never help me to get my hard work paid off and it will demotivate me so i don't want to stop making tutorials for you all therefore help me get new subscriber i will take off now everyone and take care guys till we meet in the next class stay safe stay healthy and keep learning on z interactive your own training institute there's one important announcement i would like to make i have started three great membership plans on my channel i have introduced zdi friends membership plan which will give you exciting perks like loyalty badges and priority on comments i have also introduced zdi early bird plan which will give access to z interactive tutorials way early before they become public so you will get all these lessons at once and you can binge watch last but not the least i have introduced that type premium plan which will give access to advanced professional tutorials which you will find it very very expensive outside and i will be giving this at a very low amount of price so visit my channel now and click on the join membership to get more information i hope you become one of my members if you want to learn how to create a highly detailed prop procedurally using Sepson Designer, so this premium tutorial series is for you. Join my premium membership plan on YouTube and get access to all premium tutorials. In this tutorial series, I will demonstrate how to use Substance Designer along with simple geometry to create a realistic smashed up retro television.